Food allergies are common in childcare centers. We surveyed early childhood professionals and learned that 77% work with one or more children with a food allergy. Food allergy is a medical condition impacting 1 in 13 children, and it can be life-threatening. The goal is to prevent an allergic reaction, and the only way to do this is by staying away from the allergen. So, let's see if you're ready. Start with children and adults getting in the habit of washing hands, as well as staff wiping down tables, chairs, and playground equipment. Prepare the environment by removing allergens. On food labels, the allergens can be listed in the ingredients section or it may be clearly listed in bold under the word contains. It is possible that even if the item doesn't contain the allergen, it could be processed in a facility that contains the allergen. Only the top eight major food allergens are required by law to be clearly listed on labels. These include peanut, tree nuts, milk, egg, wheat, soy, shellfish, and finfish. Sesame may be added to that list. Other allergens must be carefully looked for in the label. Children with diagnosed allergies should have an emergency action plan from their doctor. It is specific to each child, telling you what the child is allergic to, and explains how you should manage the reaction if it should occur. Administrators and directors should request the emergency action plan from the parents and share it with all staff that interact with children throughout the day. Also, discuss precautions needed with parents and understand any previous reactions. Know where medicine is kept. Take it with you when you go outside and on field trips. You're not feeling very good, are you? If the child feels faint, passes out, has a racing pulse or weak pulse, that's the cardiovascular body system reacting. Does their voice sound hoarse or different somehow? An answer is not necessary, but if the child is verbal, listen to the words they say. If the child is holding their throat, feeling tightness in the throat, expresses difficulty swallowing, feels tightness in their chest or wheezing, or if it's hard for the child to breathe, that's the respiratory system reacting. Do you see hives or are they scratching? If the child develops hives, redness, swelling, or itching, the integumentary system, which includes the skin, is reacting. If the child vomits or feels stomach pain, that's the gastric system reacting. If two systems are reacting, or if the child is having trouble breathing or fainting, this is a severe reaction known as anaphylaxis. The severity and progression of an allergic reaction is unpredictable. In that moment, we don't know if it will be mild or severe. We must compare the symptoms we observe with the child's emergency action plan to decide if epinephrine should be administered. Anytime the child has multiple symptoms or severe symptoms, administer epinephrine and call 911. Be prepared to give a second dose of epinephrine if symptoms do not get better. If you have any doubt, it is okay to use epinephrine. Here's what we're gonna do, okay? You're gonna be okay, but your body is getting very sick from something that you ate. And we need to give you medicine to make your body feel better. Okay, then we'll go to the hospital and the doctors will make sure you're better. And your parents will meet us there, okay? Remove the epinephrine auto-injector from the case, then remove the safety cap. Secure the child. Press into the lateral thigh and count for three seconds before removing the auto-injector. After removing, gently massage the child's leg for about 10 seconds and comfort the child until the ambulance arrives. Food allergies are on the rise and it's a medical condition that can cause a severe, life-threatening reaction. Prepare the environment. Number one, look at food labels. Never assume. Two, look at the child's emergency action plan. 
Each child has their own. And three, look at the child. The body will send signs and symptoms. Ask yourself, am I ready? Children under six depend on you to be ready. If you stop, look, and ask, and it's okay, go and eat the food. If you stop, look, and ask, and it's not okay, go find an alternative food. If there was an accidental ingestion, go. Decide whether to administer epinephrine and go call 911. You can be a positive food allergy role model for all the children by singing a song at the table when food is on their mind. We want them to stop before they eat, look at the food, ask an adult if it's okay, and go if the adult says so. Adding a hand sign with each word allows the child to hear and see the message. Prepare the environment. Remove allergens. Look at the food labels. Never assume. Look at the child's emergency action plan. Look at the child. The body will send signs and symptoms. If there was an accidental ingestion, compare the symptoms you observe with the child's emergency action plan to decide if epinephrine should be administered and call 911.